It's 2023, and we've got so many new anime airing right now, I almost couldn't decide which one to watch first. Should I go straight into Vinland Saga Season 2 like a good boy, or should I try something completely different and learn how to be a dad instead? Unfortunately, I'm missing one of the key elements required for becoming a father, so the first anime I watched was whichever one had the cutest waifu in the visual. Then the next anime I watched was obviously the one with Onichan in the title, and how could I resist following that? up with a brand new isekai. Honestly, I expected the magical revolution to be another generic dumpster fire, but it ended up being a dumpster fire without the dumpster. So just fire. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy my first impressions of this brand new year of anime. It's 2023, so unless you're the same age as Joe Biden, you've probably heard about Opera GX by now. And let's be honest, we all spend most of our lives on the internet, so it's probably a good idea to have a web browser that doesn't suck balls. Opera GX grants you infinite customization potential to make your browser look as amazing as possible. Two things that really motivate me are Hu Tao's thighs, and I can see them every time I open the browser after picking them out from Opera's vast selection of animated wallpapers. In case your gaming setup does have seven monitors, you can still watch anime while multitasking by clicking this button here to pop out videos from different tabs and adjust the frame however you want. There's also a built-in music player, which makes it super easy to bump the domestic girlfriend opening as soon as you wake up every morning. Import whatever you need from your old browser with just a few clicks, and then sit back and watch how much better your life gets. Opera GX is 100% free, so download it right now by clicking my link in this video's description. Thank you again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten is a romance anime about this really cute girl who spoils her neighbor. Ironically, she hates being called an angel, so hopefully nobody spoils the title of this anime for her. Anyway, the main character is a normal guy who doesn't clean his room or take care of himself, so he's basically you if your next door neighbor wasn't an overweight 54-year-old man who retrieves a newspaper in his underwear, but instead the most perfect waifu you could possibly dream of imagining. Mahiru Shina is a popular girl at school who randomly decides to start cooking dinner for this loser every night. She cleans his apartment for him too, and she's never used a Nintendo Switch before, so he gets to introduce her to the world of gaming as well. And yes, she lets him touch her feet. This is the exact scenario 93.7% of my audience dreams about, which led me to the bottom of one of those iceberg charts. If my theory is correct, then this anime is an isekai. Just hear me out for a minute. This kid is clearly a self-insert representation of us viewers, and his neighbor is the symbolic manifestation of perfection. She fills his refrigerator with home-cooked meals, cleans up after him, and then sits on the couch to keep him company, essentially turning his apartment into some type of utopia, also known as paradise or heaven. Sheena is called an angel because the protagonist is in heaven, which means... He's dead. That's right, Truck Coon must have given our boy a free ride to the promised land, which explains why everything is going so perfectly in his life. Of course, this theory is kind of dark, but it's actually a lot less depressing than the more likely explanation that this anime is simply a self-insert fantasy meant to appeal to lonely men like you and me. Don't let this anime fool you into thinking this ideal scenario could ever actually happen in reality though, because a beautiful girl isn't just going to appear in your lap one day out of nowhere. You know, normally you have to pay for that sort of thing. Unless you're the protagonist of Onimai. This anime opens with an obnoxious alarm going off for like 45 seconds straight, which almost made me drop it immediately. But it's about an innocent gamer who just wanted to not leave his room for two years, until his sister roofies him and turns him into a lolly and then refuses to elaborate. Now don't worry guys, I know what you're thinking. How can I turn myself into a lolly? Well apparently that part wasn't important because there's no explanation what Whatsoever. She just turned him into a girl somehow, and you know, I guess I shouldn't question that in 2023. Luckily, the protagonist doesn't seem too distraught though, because he's kind of just like, oh shit, my penis is gone, and then immediately goes right back to solo queue. Of course, he probably has to play support now, because, you know.
Anyway, he soon discovers that being a woman isn't only fans. Life as a woman is actually pretty difficult because they have to sit down to pee. Apparently, they have to wipe after that too, and I've heard there's even a complicated process for wiping properly, like front to back or something, which doesn't really make that much sense because girls pee out of their butt anyway, right? Regardless, I think I finally understand all of the struggles women go through. Also, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my 57 essential wipes tips in the next video. The Magical Revolution is a brand new isekai that sounded really generic in the synopsis but surprised me by how good it is. You guys have heard of Anos, right? Well, now get ready for Anis. <laughs> Anus was reborn into a fantasy world as a princess who lacks the ability to use magic. So instead of using magic, Anus uses magicology, which is similar to magic, except it has ology as a suffix. Anus is one of the most chaotic anime characters ever. She's so spontaneous and out of control, it's impossible not to be entertained. She's known as the Marauder Princess because she likes to barge into the middle of a fight, kill the monsters, and then take all the loot for herself. But loot isn't the only thing she steals in this anime. Honest kidnaps a girl named Yuffie just because she looks like Amelia, and within two episodes, they're already sleeping together. That's right, gentlemen, this is a Yuri. I could have told you it was a Yuri from the beginning and you would have immediately started watching it, but I wanted you to watch my video first. I'll be closely monitoring this anime for the rest of the season because I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm not as hyped about the other two anime I talked about in this video, but I think my first impressions of the new anime in 2023 are pretty solid. I'm excited to start making a new tier list, so let me know what you guys think I should watch next. Also, please remember to wipe front to back so you don't get a UTI and stay tuned for more wiping tactics coming soon. Thanks everyone for wiping, I'm out for now. Peace.